Man, today on Power Players, welcome back. We got a special guest on Power Players, Jamil Damji. He's been a guy that my wife and I have followed for years, serial entrepreneur, real estate investor, and mentor to thousands of aspiring investors worldwide. This guy has been in the real estate industry for 20 years, built a multi-million dollar portfolio of properties across the United States. He's also the founder of Keegley, a real estate investment company that helps achieve financial freedom through real estate investing and education. He's got a very unique approach to real estate investing and I wanted to bring him to you so you could learn how he's making his moves so you can make your moves okay he's a sought-after speaker mentoring coach I know I'm gonna learn something I hope you do make sure you comment with questions below bring on to power players Jamil Damji Hey man, so good to have you. Uh, so good to have thank you. Thank you, okay? brother. Good uh, to see you. You're doing so many unbelievable things. I mean, bouncing between TV shows, yeah. book tours, real estate, flipping deals, wholesaling yeah. deals. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. You know, it's interesting. I saw myself in this situation six years ago. And losing weight and too, bro. Getting thing, in well, great shape, that. man. Yeah. I, well, you yeah. know, I saw you do a chin up and I couldn't. Right. So I said, this isn't, I mean, you know, I'm 44 years old and yeah. I, I want to live. Actually, a doctor said to me, how much you love your wife? Uh-huh. I love her a lot. He's yeah. like, how much do you love the fact that you right now are not only preparing for her future, but her future husband's? Wow. Wow. That, hit, huh? that kicked me right in the nuts. Yeah. And it made me realize I got to do something. Yeah. So yeah, it's down 60 pounds. Good for you. Man. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. Now yeah. I've been noticing your Instagram. I said, man, he's getting in shape. Yeah. Working on it. It's hard in the beginning, right? It really is because it's just getting started. Momentum, right? Yeah, yeah. You got to get momentum. And if you've got a lot of mass, it's hard hard to get velocity because that's what momentum is, right? Mass and velocity. So I had a, but. You know, you, you move faster, you gain more momentum, and yeah. that's what's happening for yeah, me right well, now. Yeah, well, you know, you got success in your life, so you know how to do it. Correct. And, and, and I, I think, you know, more people would benefit if they just knew, dude, you just got to show up. It is. Do the first one. Yep. You don't quit. You're going to get results. How long did it take you to start losing some weight? Oh, I, I may, at most six months to uh-huh. this. Yeah. I, I'm do, fast. When, when did you see it, though? Did you see it in the first three weeks, no, two we weeks? No, you don't see it in the first Nothing, two, three huh? weeks. You no, know, because it's like water weight, right? So yeah. you're losing weight, but not you're not really seeing it. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I, you know, for me, I honestly didn't see it until somebody said it to me. Oh, wow. Right? And then I realized, oh, maybe I should get a different size shirt. Because, uh-huh. oh, you know, yeah. you're drowning uh-huh. in your clothes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like you. My life is fast, yeah, fast, yeah, fast. Yeah. I'm in 15-minute increments, right? right? I don't really have time to sit there and stare at myself in the mirror and be like, does this fit? Right. Because I don't care. I got money to make. I got a TV show to make. I got things, yeah. to, I got yeah. things to do all day long, right? So at that point, I thought, well, my wife was saying to me, too, like, your jeans are pretty saggy on you. Uh-huh. Your shirt's a little too big. You're swimming in your clothes. It's time to change, you know? Oh, wow. And that was it. Well, good, man. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you, brother. So let's talk real estate, okay? Of course. Okay, you're in Phoenix most of the time. Yes. What, what's happening over there? Well, Phoenix is getting kicked in the teeth. Yeah. You know, the funny thing about the real estate market nationally is it's different in every state. You got states right now that are appreciating 10%. Uh-huh. You got states right now that because, are- Because why? Because of because demand. No supply. No supply. No demand supply. is high still. I it, mean, the demand, is the demand really there? Well, or is, when it, is you, it there's just when you no got, supply? When there's no supply- You don't then, need as much demand. You don't demand. need as much demand, exactly. Because right. you got those rate locked people. I'm in the single family world, uh-huh. right? So the rate locked people you, right So you're now, buying a single family home. You're not doing the, the duplexes. No. Four plexes, not, not you're not doing 200 I, units. I will I will wholesale small multifamily. So I'll wholesale okay. four plexes. I hold, right now I'm in the middle of a 16 unit townhome deal in, Merit, I think Tennessee. Uh huh. Um, we'll make a good half a million dollars wholesaling that deal. Uh, dude, that's you know? awesome. And that's just one shot. So, uh, so I, what, explain to me what wholesaling is. So wholesale is real estate arbitrage, right? Okay. It's it's the it is the hustle of real estate. You're a broker. You're Not basically a broker. I'm you're the broker in the deal, everything. though. You're, you're well, I, I won't call it I won't call it brokering. Okay. Okay. But you're because a I'm the principal. You're a pimp. I'm well. I'm principal. I am well, on not. the contract. I'm, I, I, per, I am on the contract to purchase, and I, all uh-huh. I'm looking for is potential, right? Like uh-huh. what you buy in, a, in an asset is a potential. If somebody can present you potential and you make sense of it, uh-huh. you'll like it. That's my job as a wholesaler. I got to go out into the world and find potential. Whether yeah. That so you're not. You're not the. I'm trying to look for something in life that, yeah. it, that is like yeah. you're, you're not. You're not the arms dealer. You're not no. selling military equipment to Iran. No. You are putting a deal together between America and Iran, and you get 
But if, you, but if there's you some actually for a second own yeah. something. I, no, no? I, I don't. I have control of it. Okay. So I have, I, you know, an equitable interest is my contractual control. I can, uh-huh. I can close on it because I'm well capitalized. I can close on anything I contract. And that makes me powerful in this business because people know I don't mess around. Uh-huh. Have I taken... Have I taken control or have I closed on stuff all the time? Yeah, yeah. I do it when I have to, right? But I like to just sell my rights. Yeah. And as a whole Selling your rights. So give me an example. Like you yep. would, you, let's say I have a house for sale. Right. Say you got an ugly house because that's what I, I deal in. I deal in garbage. So I see those signs. Ugly yeah. house. Yeah. We buy ugly houses. Right. For cash. Exactly. Got it. So I, I get control of that house. Now there's a person out there, whether it be a buy and hold guy, it could be a fix and flipper, could be a private equity company, they are all looking for single family houses because it's a new asset class. Uh-huh. And so what I'll do is I'll take control of that asset and I'll yeah. put together the best plan, whatever the best plan, it could be mm-hmm. not. I did a deal where it was a, ma- a two bed, two bath, 6,000 square foot mansion. Who would want that? It sat on the MLS for six months. Nobody wanted to buy this thing, but it also sat on an acre of land that was zoned R6. Uh-huh. I knew if you bulldoze the R6 land- R6 is what? Six you units? Can, you could do six houses on an acre. Okay, got it. So I knew that. Uh So I didn't look at the mansion, the two bed, two bath mansion, which was completely unlivable. Uh I saw the dirt underneath it. You wanted to market a different way. Exactly. So I'm always looking for the potential. To an end user investor. To an end user investor. You hold the piece of paper. Correct. So you'd call me with that, that R6. Right. You called the owner and said what? Hey, I want to buy your place? Well, I actually called the agent. And I said, you know, tell me about what's going on over here. Yeah. She says, well, we can't sell this on the open market because nobody wants to live in a two bed, two bath, 6,000 square foot house. Wow. It's completely unfunctional. Yeah. yeah. And everybody who's looking at it is looking at it dead on. Uh-huh. Two bed, two bath, 6,000 square For feet. For what it was, not right. what it could be. Exactly. Uh-huh. My job as a wholesaler is to find what is the highest and best use of whatever situation I'm in. Uh-huh. And that's what I do. But the problem with that is most wholesalers look at it as a hustle uh-huh. because it's a hustle. I got into this. Grant, where I grew up, making fifty thousand bucks in a pop, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, okay. lower many, middle class, great beautiful. city, beautiful city. Band, I love it. I, I'm band. going there next week. Okay, I uh, I love it. I love yeah. Calgary, but I grew up in a really lower middle class house, and my both my parents worked twelve hours a day. Like it, we, I barely saw them. My sister raised me. Uh huh. So you have this life where you know my parents barely made enough to pay the mortgage, pay the cars, pay the bills, all the things, feed us. You realize that you're either going to do this or you got to go somewhere else. Right, you right. got to get to the moon because this uh-huh. planet sucks. This yeah. world we're in yeah, right now, yeah, this isn't yeah. making sense for me, yeah, right? Yeah. So I see that. And my, my dad, because I'm East Indian, he says, you got to be a doctor. And mm. I tried. I, I, went the route, I went the path mom and dad said to do. I have a science degree, uh-huh. right? But I didn't get into medical school. I didn't oh, get in. Oh, oh, you didn't get in. I didn't get you in. Didn't, it was yeah. one of the biggest blessings of my life. Right, right. Because th- I didn't you, get you in. You weren't smart enough? Or? I was smart. In fact, my yeah. cousin uh-huh. cheated off me on the MCAT. Oh, my God. That's the so entrance exam. So why didn't you exam. get in? I was maybe immature. Maybe it's the universe. Call it God. Whatever you want. Yeah, it was, yeah. I wasn't what, meant for it. What do you it. mean? They, they just didn't accept you? I, they said, no. Try again next year. Oh, wow. Yeah. I had a great GPA. Because your, your grades were well. good? Grades were great. Grades were good enough. Grades were great. Why would they say no to you then? My interview wasn't good. I was a little too honest in it. Oh yeah? I wanted to be a plastic surgeon. So most uh-huh. people who go into medicine don't say that. You don't uh-huh. tell people that you want to make people better looking, uh-huh. right? You, you go into medicine because you want to help people. That's because hilarious. you want, you want so, to do the right uh, thing. Oh, so they interview you. you they interview to, you. To, 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 to get into medical school, yeah. And, and you I, should have said what? I no, should have wiped my ass I want to handle. Like, yeah, I'm a humanitarian. I want to do I, rectal I, exams. I, yeah, I, want to, I want to help people with wanna, kidney problems. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and my cousin, actually, who I did better than and who cheated off me on the test, yeah. his father had this terrible eye accident. So he wanted to be an, opto- like an ophthalmologist because yeah. he saw a tragedy. He saw his dad lose an eye. Oh, wow. Right? So when he goes in there, the violins are playing. Everything's working for him. Yeah. Not for uh-huh. me because uh-huh. mo- I want money. I want to be in medicine for the, for the dollar. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was very clear. Said, no, no. Bro, very clear. You. This guy's ready. He's, he's on so his what, way to So what does your buddy make today? Uh, what I can make in a day. What in does he year. make? What does he make? A couple hundred grand a year? Yeah. Yeah. And works most. 14 hour days. He sent me a message. He sent me a message not too long ago and he was very proud of me. He said, I, I can't believe, you know, I was jealous of him. He's depressed. He's yes. overweight. Not overweight, he's, but he's not, you know, he's, he's, he's got probably, no muscle mass. He hadn't been to the gym in years. It's probably He's probably hard. on antidepressants. Oh my gosh. Marriage is failing. Kids <laughs> no, hating. No, no, not that no. bad. <laughs> not that bad. I'm sure he's having a wonderful life. He's having a wonderful yeah. life. No, no, he's not. But That's it's bullshit. But it's small. He's not having a wonderful life. <laughs> it's small. 
I couldn't do that. I, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't want that. I never yeah. wanted that. My soul wanted something different, uh-huh. right? Yeah. So when you see that, I, you know, I stumble into real estate because I can't buy real estate at the time because uh-huh. I don't have credit. I don't have money. I have nothing. You're here now or you're I'm still, still in Calgary? There. Okay. I, I actually am walking my dog, walking my dog, and I see an opportunity, a house for rent. Uh-huh. I'd overheard people looking for this specific type of house while I'm walking my dog. I called the lady who has the house for rent. I tried to rent the house three months prior, but it was $200 a month out of my budget. That just to give you an idea of my life. Yeah, yeah. $200 decided where I lived, uh-huh. right? When 200 bucks decides where you live, that's, a, that's not good. That's right. Right? Right. Well, I call her and I said, look, you haven't been able to rent the house. Yeah. Want to sell it? How much? Well, you tell me what you want. 350 grand. Now, I go back now, to the this people is I how long ago? This is now over 20 years ago. Okay. I go back so to the a, people. That's, that's a, a long time. a million dollar house. Well, today would be worth way more than that. Yeah. In Calgary, at least. Uh-huh. I go back to the office, who, and my business partner at the time, his father and him used to bulldoze these houses and build duplexes, luxury duplexes. I asked them, how much would you pay for this? They said 400000 Now, I got a $50,000 problem because I can right. buy it for three fifty, I can sell it for four hundred, but I have no money. Right, right. Uh-huh. So I start cold calling real estate lawyers, and I ask... How do you do this? Is there a way? Is there anything I can do? Because my, uh-huh. my, my uncles won't give me any money. My dad has no money. My mom has no money. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. got any money for me. Nobody's yeah. got 350 well, yeah, grand to buy. And they, they figure you're an idiot because yeah. you could have got in med school. Uh, well, I'm the black could, sheep because I'm been now, a doctor. I, I could have been a doctor, but now I'm selling websites. That, that's what I was doing at uh, the time. Okay. Right? I'm selling websites in the early 2000s. Yeah, your GoDaddy's go bitch. Yeah. 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 Even worse. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, you know, that just, I stumble into this. Forty fifty thousand dollar opportunity that yeah. turns into forty seven thousand dollars. So profit. you made forty seven grand. I make forty seven grand. Okay, one shot. My life. So has what changed. you did was you basically had a contract. Yep. To control the, the assets, house, correct. To close as yourself or and to or assign, assign it, it to another person, right? And then you once you got that, you had how long to pitch it to market? Well, it? usually you would pitch it during your inspection period, right? Because but on you, that deal, like, what, on do the, you remember that, what you have? Yeah, about ten days. Oh, you yeah. had to flip it in 10. I had to flip it in 10. Now, the deal in Phoenix that you did, yep. the six unit, uh, the R6, yep. the single family, uh, 6,000 square, 6, square, square feet, two bedrooms. Two, two bedrooms. <laughs> That's weird. Two bedrooms and, and everything else was a living room. Yeah, they Persian? No, it, it was a okay. very interesting guy. Okay. He, his wife had- He built the house for himself? He built this house for, for him, him and his and wife. That's a mistake. That was it, yeah. Just Big her. mistake, no And kids. she passed away then. Oh, wow. And so now the whole house just reminds him of her. Uh-huh. So it was a, it was a pretty sad situation. Yeah. yeah. So now, I don't know why I said, hey, is he Persian? Because I, th- I think of them having really big, big homes. Big bedrooms. Big homes and oh, big yeah. bedrooms, yeah, yeah. right? So now, um, on that deal, yeah. how did you structure that deal? So I, I put the house under contract. Yeah. And I... I under, went, uh, meaning under, what? You're buying I'm it? I'm going to buy or, it. Or, or you, you're hey, going to assign it. I'm, it's my name and or assignee. Uh-huh. And I've got now 15 they, they, days. They know what they you're understand really, what I'm doing. They, they know what they you're doing. They understand what I'm doing. The uh-huh. agent said, can you help? Yeah. And I said, possibly. Because they retired. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly, because she's only talking to retail buyers. She's right, only talking right. to people that are going to the MLS. Now, yeah. I've got relationships with developers. Yeah. So I pack. And it's in a great neighborhood. It's in the same neighborhood I live and in today. And the broker's still going to get paid. The broker's getting her. She's going to represent me and the seller. She's making 6% instead of 3 Uh-huh. I put it under contract. It was listed for $900,000. I put it under contract at list price. Uh-huh. I flipped it to a developer for a million bucks. I made 100 grand myself. Yeah, no money she, involved. No that's money a, involved. That's, that's an Just infinite my EMD, return. Infinite return. And this that's is what I do. That's earned income for you. Earned income. Right. Right. So Now, let me ask you another question. Okay? Sure. I got to ask you this question. Okay. Like how many deals, how many times have you done this? I do this on average between 60 to 80 times a month in my corporate stores. A month. A month. And now I franchised Dude. it. So not only that, but I, when I built this company that I own, Key Glee, I said, okay, how do I take a hustle yeah. and turn it into something I could sell? Yeah, yeah. Right? How do I do this the right way? Because uh-huh. look, I, I was reading, I was learning about you before you knew who the hell I was. Yeah, yeah. Right? How do I take a wholesale hustle and 10X this? Yeah. No one has been able to successfully sell a wholesale operation. Why? Uh-huh. Because it's a hustle. Yeah. It's a hustle. Nobody can sell a hustle. Uh huh. But if you can franchise it and systemize it and then get royalties from it, yeah, what's the you franchise can sell cost? It. 100 grand. Uh huh. You can make that on one deal. You can make it in a deal. Yeah. And now I have- And you, you're, 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 you're approved in every state? Practically, yeah. yeah. I think we may be, there may be one we're not in right now, but I'm- New know. York or California? No, we're in California. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and we're in New York, so I think we're, we're good all yeah. over. Okay, yeah, okay, so the, the house in Calgary, if yeah. you'd have bought it, kept it, and rented it out, mm-hmm. you'd have made a million dollars. Absolutely. 
The no one doubt. in Phoenix, yep. if you'd have done the project yourself. Yep. I would have made a million dollars. A million dollars. Yep. But instead, you didn't put any of your money at risk. Correct. Correct. You hustle. You basically connect two people. Correct. And you pick up the arbitrage. Right. What's referred to as the arbitrage. Correct. Okay. And now my wholesale company can make a million dollars a month and I have no risk. So I'm making money on the market uh -huh. as it goes up. I'm making money on the market as it goes down. Uh -huh. I'm never caught with my pants down because uh -huh. I'm always just watching. I'm, I'm paying attention to the cycle. I'm paying attention to where we are. I'm yeah. paying attention to demand and price. Yeah. I'm very, I'm, I am yeah. a market maker so, in real estate. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. So, so, and that's awesome on the wholesaling thing. Where are we since you said you got to know where we are? Where are we in the cycle right now? It depends. Again, it's regional right now. I think it's states. There well, are some let's states. Say Phoenix, let's say Phoenix. Phoenix, it's, Phoenix right now is a good time to buy. Uh -huh. So for me, it personally, not in my company, yeah. and smart yeah. investors are zagging as well. Okay, everybody's zigging right now. Uh -huh. But the smart guys are zagging because there's yeah. great product. What does zagging mean? It means going contrarian. You're going in the opposite direction of where they're the buying. They're buying. They're not, buying. Not, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you can get deals right, right now. Right. Look, the market in Phoenix dropped 10%. You want to know why? Because of guys like me, because uh -huh. of guys like the smart investors who are out there. Pulled that are, out. No, because we're now going back into the market and saying, hey, you got this house listed at, I just did a deal down the road from my house. Yeah. My house is probably worth about two and a half million bucks, okay? It's not like yours. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. and a half million dollars. Down the road from my house, house listed at 1.8 million bucks, uh -huh. right? It's worth that, but it's a little funky in the layout. It needs a little bit of an update, yeah. but it's beautiful. Sits on a half acre lot, corner lot, gorgeous. I called the agent. I said, I think you can't sell this house for $1.8 million. I think you're going to get nine hundred. dollars uh -huh. What makes you say that? Because that's what I'm willing to offer you. Uh -huh. nine hundred dollars Your phone's not ringing. Who's going to buy it? I don't think the sellers are going to take that. No problem. I'll call you back in two weeks. And I did. Uh -huh. She's like, they're not going to take nine hundred. dollars No problem. I'll call you in another two weeks. Yeah. And I did. Yeah. They won't do nine hundred. dollars but what's your best? Nine fifty. dollars uh -huh. I closed it. Wow. 950. Wow. Now I go and I put $30,000 in renovations into it. I get uh -huh. it reappraised 1.5. Uh-huh. This is what I do. Yeah. I, now, so, okay, so, so real so, investors right now are buying where the market's dipping. No, I'm with you, dude. Yeah. I'm with you. We're, we're aggressively like, I yeah. made an offer, a cash offer on a big deal yesterday. Right. So it wasn't, it wasn't 950 grand. But. Yeah. I know that's peanuts to you, but no, you, know, you no, do that no, a lot. Dude, it's, you know? it's, it's all the same. Right. To, me, to me, if you're making money, you're making money. Right. So well, whether it's 950 or 95 million or whatever, right? It's, yeah. You're looking for a deal and an entry. And I agree with the, what you called the zag, right? So, uh, but, but, but the pricing came down because... Demand. Demand is down. There was less guys going to buy that. Correct. You don't have the end user buying it. The mortgage right. rates hurt it, yep. hurt, hurt that house. Yes, sir. Uh, if this was available a year ago, we would have probably had multiple offers because the when money we was When we were shooting a the TV show, yeah. when we were doing that house, right? If we had sold the house at that- Was that the house? No, you talking different about? house. Okay. Did that house sell? That house sold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that house well, sold What'd well. you get for it? Uh, just under a million bucks. Okay, yeah. that's what I think- Right I where we thought we were, we were gonna, gonna get, go. Man. Yeah, yeah. We did good, we yeah. did good. Yeah. But again, you know, you- But because, let's just go over this thing. This yeah. is supply and demand that I think we throw around and people don't understand. The sure. supply of houses in Phoenix has not changed. No. No. Yeah, I was, t I was having this uh, conversation with Glenn um, over at uh, EXP. Yeah. And I said, Glenn, man, he, he's like, there's a supply problem. I said, no, bro, the supply is the amount of homes in America hadn't really changed. Right. Getting them, getting it. Yes, is, Be because is you, what you've got right now, so they call it a supply problem. Uh -huh. really? But, but yeah. it, what it really is, is who, who's in control. Uh -huh. That's the problem. So here's what it is, right? Private equity came into Phoenix and bought us. A, a new buyer that had never been in single Never been there homes, before, right? Competing with end users. Correct. Called private equity. I'm just right. helping people track this. Right, this is big corporations, big Blackstone, big, yeah. Yeah. big companies with billions and yeah. billions of, of and, and- You they, know it's over when they you, come. Exactly, right? right? And they're the ones buying these houses. Right. And they're taking them off the market. They're not doing that now. They're, they're back. Uh, really? They're back. I'm seeing the offers. From Blackstone? Well, not specifically Blackstone, yeah. but I'm seeing them from private equity companies. Okay. Right? So their private equity has turned the faucet back on. They're not roaring again, but they're, right. they've turned right. the faucet back on. Yeah. And they're coming in and buying it deep. They're not giving you list price uh -huh. like they were six months ago, uh -huh. but they're buying. So, so Johnny was out in the market. <coughs> Johnny, the regular guy's out trying to buy a house. Yeah. Then a couple years ago, this other group comes in. It's called private equity. Johnny was buying the house as an end user right. to live in it with his girlfriend. Right. 
this other group, this private equity group, was buying, they weren't buying one house. They're like, we want to buy hundreds of these. Yeah, thousands. And fill them up with renters. Correct. He went away. You're saying they're starting to kind of well, what happened? get back because you, of, you would think, right? Because yeah. when, when the institution. But Johnny's gone now. Johnny, Johnny, well, Johnny's still around because he didn't get the house. Because yeah. he couldn't compete with the cash buyer, right? So Johnny right. couldn't. So, but now he can't compete with the mortgage. Now he can't, he can't compete with the, the rate. He can't compete with the rate, exactly, right, right. right? So there's still that situation. Now there's some people that are now saying, okay, hey, wait, this rate's not so bad. Because you give it a little bit of time, yeah, and, they and people forget. To, yeah, they get yeah. used to it, right? Yeah, yeah. But the, rate, they, the rate is bad. The rate is bad. The, but, ba- the rate's a problem. But they're also being sold the four-year mortgage. They're also being uh-huh. sold, hey, refi in four years. Yeah. You know, yeah. rates will come back down. They're right. not here forever. Right. So you're going to pay a little bit more money right now. You do well. Yeah. You know, you're a doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they're getting the whole song and dance. They're yeah. being sold. Yeah, yeah. Right. Seller be sold. It's happening right yeah, now. Yeah, but in the, the demand market. still dropped. The demand dropped. So when the demand dropped, the price is also going to pull back with Correct. It. less like, people competing for that product. Here's, here's the, why things are different, right? How many people are sitting on two, three, four percent mortgages right now? 70, a lot, 80% of a the, lot, right? Everybody, what do you think them. those people are wanting to do with those houses? They're not selling them. No, they're, they're going to become accidental landlords. That's exactly right. Yeah. Right. So now there's all these companies helping homeowners become landlords, right? That's, that is the mm-hmm. new play. That's what, that's what Silicon Valley is but creating. Can, right they, now. can they go buy, can they go buy another house on uh, the bigger house? Let's say it's double. Yep with a six and a half percent interest rate, with a regional bank that's tightening, Fannie and Freddie are gonna tighten right. the, the lending standards. <laughs> Can they qualify for that? If we start moving into recession, like I'm not just looking at where we're at this second, I'm right. like, where are we going here? Yeah, we, we are definitely going into a financial turmoil. There's uh-huh. no doubt in my mind. Yeah. And I think the buyer we're talking about right now, okay, the guy who you're, you're speaking about, has a lot of financial literacy. Uh-huh. Okay, he already owned a home, uh-huh. right? He's not looking to upgrade. He's not saying to himself, you know what? I'm going to go stretch myself. Right, right. He's right, not. Right, right. That guy's not saying that. He's saying, uh-huh. you know what? I'm going to hold this. Maybe I rent. Yeah. I'm uh-huh. going to do something smart here, uh-huh. right? That's why this, That's why that price point of a million to $2 million is getting smashed in the teeth right now. Uh, because that's, that's an educated. Level. It's an entry-level educated buyer. Yeah, got it. Uh-huh. Right? But the, the median price point... Medium being, being $450,000, yeah. yeah. you can't get a house in that price point right now. Yeah, you're saying those are the uh, the, the, That's the, where the less m- intelligent? Well, it's not about intelligence. It's just about... Well, the other guy's intelligent. So what are you saying about this other I'm group? saying this person that may be less financially sophisticated. Oh, uh, okay. Right? That's they're, your they're way of saying that. They're not unintelligent. They're not unintelligent people. They're just saying, yeah. look, now's my time to get a home. Uh-huh. I wasn't able to get a home. I wasn't able to get a home a year ago. It was impossible for me. Yeah, because because everybody was coming exactly, over the top. Exactly, right? Here's an opportunity for me to get a house. Uh-huh. And I look at my rents, rents are way up. I look at the six and a half percent mortgage. Yeah, but but rents are still it's, but it's, rents are still it's still it's uh, equal or less. No, it didn't, man. I mean Shit. a little you selling, bit. You selling it's an right equal now, or less. Bro. It's, it's a equal or less. You no, think it's so? About half, to, man. No. Rents no. are half. Rent, not in Median Phoenix. Rents. I, you go into Phoenix right now and you look at what a house in my neighborhood costs to rent. Okay, not even my neighborhood. No, let's just no, go let's in the other neighborhood. Your neighborhood. Let's, let's go down there. I can go get. I can go get. Twenty eight hundred ball. Twenty eight hundred to thirty five hundred bucks. I can get it for less, way less than that. You're gonna you're gonna be the one negotiating or no, the person? No, no, any person. Okay, they got thirty four thousand <laughs> units coming into Phoenix right now. Multifamily or house? Multifamily. Different, totally different class. I'm talking about apartments. Different class. Now, if we're going to well, switch the conversation, it's a different thing, right? Multifamily and single family, totally different. Multifamily, uh, you don't get a yard, you can't have a dog. Yeah. You know, it's a who different wants thing. A, who wants a dog? I mean, I who do. Who wants a yard? I got three. You got three dogs? I do. Well, your wife has four then. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, you think the apartment's different than I the think single it is. family? I huh? think it's a different life. Interesting. Interesting. Completely different situation. Interesting. You know? Uh-huh. So... You think the demand's coming back for the house? I think the demand's coming because back the for price the house. is pulled back enough to start grabbing interest. Correct. You think the end user? I mean, why are mortgage applications at twenty-eight year lows then? They're low because they're hard. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. it's still hard. So if it's hard, yeah, if it's at a twenty-year low, whatever, right? Yep. That means to me, there's fewer people. There are able or interested there, in getting there are a mortgage. Fewer people, fewer right? people doing it. But there's still the forty-year mortgage you talked about. That, and I'm just talking this yeah, out with you. I don't, yeah. I don't have the right answer yeah, here. Yeah, the forty-year mortgage is helping. Dude, it's two hundred bucks on uh, a five hundred thousand dollar loan. You know, it's two hundred. But that's and it adds. It's fucking criminal. 
It is. It, it adds three hundred thousand dollars of in interest. interest. It does to save two hundred bucks does, a month. It does. But it was just they did the same thing in vehicles. Did you see what they did in London this week? No. One hundred percent mortgages are back. But that's because the demand is there. They don't offer a product for something people don't want, Grant. Bro, bro uh, you know, some people want heroin injections. Well, you know, the government gave them Percocet. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like, I'm like, just you because know? somebody wants it doesn't mean it's good for them. <laughs> it's, Giving it's, somebody a 40-year mortgage I'm with no money lender. down I'm is like putting a loaded gun in their hand. <laughs> It's not that drastic. Bro, it's, 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 not, it's, it's horrible. If, you, if you've got hold the on, income. What is the mortgage interest on a $500,000 loan over 40 years? I found this on the web. It's 7%. This guy's going to pay 35000 a year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 10 years He'll pay three hundred fifty thousand interest yeah. on a five hundred thousand yeah. dollars house. Yeah, it's, it's, that's in it's, ten years. It's a lot. It's a lot. And Brad. it doesn't bother you. It, it's not that it doesn't bother me. It's just that this is what it takes to live. Uh -huh. You want to own a home. Yeah. You want to own the home. Here's yeah. another thing. Do you right? think people should should own a home? I didn't own my own home for a long time. Yeah. I was making a lot of money before I bought a you, house. How many homes you own? Lots. You own a lot of homes. personally that you live in. No, I live in one of them. I well, rent okay, the other so ones out. that's a home. Yeah. What are the other things? Those they're are all homes. Rentals. They're all they're just rentals. Those are businesses. Correct. Yeah. So how, how many homes do you own? Just one. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's my home. Yeah. And and this is why people get so upset with me because they're like, Grant says don't buy a house. I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm, I know. didn't own my own home for a long time. I was making how a lot of money. I'm 44. Yeah. So you've owned a home for how long? Owned it now. Yeah. I I, mm, I bought it. I closed it in 2017, I, I, the yeah. land. I built it, moved in 2020. Okay, so you've owned a home for three years. Yeah. But you, you got a TV show. Yep. You got a bunch of real estate. You yep. made, you're, you're, you're selling 20, 20 wholesale deals a month. You got your income going. Then you went and bought a home. Correct. You didn't get out of Calgary College. And buy a house. Turned down by the no. medical community. No. And go say, I got, first thing I got to do is buy a house because no, I flip hamburgers. I did, I did not do that. And that's what I'm telling people. Yeah. Look, you're that, flipping homes, not flipping hamburgers. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And even then, even when I was making quite a bit of money, like what's I still the most you've ever made in a month? Just Biggest under a month? million. Just under a million. Oh. Take home. Take home. Yeah. Not in my companies, but take yeah. home. Well, Actually, everything. Yeah. Companies and everything. Uh, oh, mm, four. Four million. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, we do good, right? We do. I, I don't awesome. do. I don't do GC good, but no, I do but good. That's awesome, right? bro. That's awesome. I and want, that's all from a hustle. That's, yeah, for, that's yeah. all from a hustle, right? And that's the thing. When I, when I look at it now. So to do this hustle, yeah. okay, what's the risk of this hustle? Well, that's the, the beautiful part yeah. about wholesale is that. No, but the personal risk. There's got to be some personal risk. There's got to be at some point I get caught. Like, does it take what? time, energy, cold yeah, calls? You're, 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 yeah, that, rejection, a lot of that. Rejection, a lot of rejection. Rejection. Most people who get involved in the business will sit down, start making phone calls, whether they're calling agents, whether they're calling homeowners, whatever they're doing, uh -huh. looking for pain, right? Or pain or potential. Those are the two things we trade in as wholesalers. Uh -huh. Pain or potential. That's it, right? Speed and convenience is the other thing, right? People will go to CarMax and they'll sell their house knowing that they're going to resell it and make a dollar. When somebody sells to, to car, a wholesaler- oh, to Sell their car. Car, right? At CarMax. So somebody okay. sells to a wholesaler. Yeah. They understand this house may not be financeable. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of deferred maintenance. It's uh -huh. not retail ready. Right. You know, there's maybe we have somebody in the house. We don't, our situation in the house, like a hoarding situation. Oh, oh you got you to gotta bang somebody out. There's a lot of things that, reasons why people sell to wholesalers. There's, right. a, there's, a, there's a lot of reasons, right? Yeah. And so you just find those opportunities. You find uh -huh. the opportunity. So how many calls you got to make to find that one opportunity? 200. Wow, dude. That's a lot of calls, bro. I mean, even for me, that's a lot of calls. You've, you've, I'm sure you've made thousands of them. Oh, tens of thousands, but yeah. but it's not you that know, hard. for the average person. If for the average person, they'll quit at 25. Yeah. yeah. That's but who? 25 but, calls. Yeah, but if you want a non-average life, you don't do non-average things. Uh huh. You have to do more, and that, that's just it. You've got to do more, right? Yeah. And, that, and the reason, again, for the the way that I wholesale. A lot of people, they'll call homeowners. They'll interrupt them at dinner and say, hey, mm -hmm. that house you got that you live in that's ugly, yeah, will you sell it to me? They are defending people. They're, you know, they're, they're being obnoxious on the phone. Uh -huh. They're trying to get somebody to say, yes, we want, we're interested in selling. Uh -huh. <clears throat> you got code violations on your house. I, you know, I noticed you, oh, you go notice a default. Points, huh? Yeah, they're going, they're going after the pain, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I don't like to call homeowners. Yeah. I work with, I like relationships. You work with brokers? I work with brokers and yeah. agents. That's you, my, want that, you want that interim guy. Exactly. You want that buffer. Exactly. And now they've got a fiduciary taking care of them as well. And, and they're going to they're gonna earn some money on yeah, it. Yeah, they'll get, they'll hopefully You don't get mind them. paying them 60 no, grand. I have no problem right? with an agent making money. Yeah, exactly. Nothing at all. If 60 grand blows the deal. Right. Then what's the point? You shouldn't be doing the deal. You shouldn't be doing the deal, right? Right. Okay. So, so it, what's the math like on these deals? Like, w w is there some kind of like you need a certain amount of return? Or no, I've done a deal for five thousand bucks. Right. I've done a deal just to help a seller and a buyer out where I made no money because it could, didn't work. Uh -huh. I, there, I didn't have a buyer who wanted to pay more than my contract price, uh -huh. but I had a seller who needed to sell. Uh -huh. I had a buyer who wanted the deal. Yeah. There was no room for me. Uh huh. I connected them, let them do the deal, and I stepped back. Yeah. I said, you know what, I'll get paid. But you paid. don't make a habit of that. I don't make a habit of it, no, because right. I'm good at my numbers. Yeah. I understand. So what are the numbers? Give me the well, numbers. Typically, let's say the deal's 500 grand. Okay. Say it's worth 500 fixed up. Let's, let's just use that, okay? It's worth 500 fixed up. Yeah. And you know that because you know the market. Correct. So a person has to know their market. You got to know the market. You got to know what it's this called. Isn't, this isn't gambling. No, you know. You look at comps. Uh -huh. It's very easy in single family, right? Because it's not a... It's not a um, Income approach, it's sales approach. Uh -huh. you, you, you understand what I'm talking about. Sales approach just means that we got a like for like comp. We got, we're, look, yeah. we're comparing two you apples. You saw something else sell yeah. for 500. Two apples You're that were grown in the same another, orchard another. from the same tree, same type of apple, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. So I, you know, I understand comp, comping, yeah. and I understand that very yeah. well, right? Uh -huh. I, I teach that to thousands of people. This is how you understand. If you can figure out how to understand value, you win the game. Because uh -huh. now I know where I got to buy this thing. And then you just do the math backwards. So let's say you, you bought, so what number, if, you, if your get out is at 500, yep. and let's say you had to spend 25. Yep. So now you got. 25 in re renovations? Yeah, you know, you know yeah, hey, I, got kitchen, I got a kitchen, I got a kitchen, two bathrooms. 50,000. 50,000. 50, let's 50, say we spent 50. Yeah. Okay. You probably want to buy this thing about 60% of 500. 60%. Yep. So you want to be at 300 yeah. plus the 50 yeah. to pick up 100 and a half. Correct. Less the broker's fees. Correct. Uh -huh. And what period of time should you be able to pick that up? Well, I, I will get out of that deal. I'm going to leave the hundred and a half for somebody else. Okay. I'm going to, the guy who wants to fix and flip it and go do the hammering and all that. Uh -oh. I'm going to let them do that. You're not picking up the 150. No. You need that room. <laughs> yes. To say you want to pick up 25 grand to That's sell it. the contract. Exactly. Yeah. So what's my risk reward? And you think you can do 40 of those a month? I do more than 40 where, where, of those a month. Where are they located? All over the place. I do. In my own All hometown. The in my own hometown of Phoenix, Arizona, I'll do uh -huh. that 60 to 100 times a month. Just in my own corporate store. Yeah. But now I've franchised so, in over 100 markets, Grant. I've taught so how many, hundreds of key glees out there that are doing crazy. business business like just this as well. Yeah. How many how many uh, homes trade a month in, in, Scott's, in, in Phoenix? To total trades. I don't know the number. Uh-huh. I don't well, know the how number. How do you do 60? I mean, that's just, just, it's got to be more than what oh, is it, 66 and you're doing maybe, 60 maybe them? let's just say hundreds uh, right now yeah it's got to be it's got to be yeah. hundreds it's i mean if not hundreds if not maybe a thousand uh-huh thousand houses i don't that, know that, uh, a month yeah yeah i don't know the number though i'm yeah. I'm, I'm just how can you not know the number i thought I you should. knew the numbers man. i mean i know how my many, numbers how many homes sold last year in phoenix <laughs> well per month here's what i found 5500 in the year. Or for sale. There's 5,500 yeah. homes for sale okay. right now over there. How many homes sell in a year? Um, let me see. I've got Rocket Mortgage. Um, how many homes sell per year in Phoenix? You have to know that. I mean, it'd be smart to know that, right? It's going to change. You don't really it's, care. It's going to change, right? Phoenix home prices were down 9% compared to last year, selling for median price of 410. So let's do the, I, I can give you the math real, real quick. Okay. okay. There's right. 3,900 supposedly active home listings. 400 of them are new. Um, but it doesn't tell me how many homes sell per year. Uh, let me just see here. But I mean, you're doing 700 a year. We can do 700 a year, yeah. There were 1,700 homes sold in March this year. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Down yeah. from 2,400. Yeah, yeah. So you're getting about 4% of the market. Yeah. One guy. One, well, I mean, I'm a big company. That's insane, dude. Yeah. I'm, and I'm that's down, it's down from 2,400. So it's down, what, 40, uh, 
Now 30, think of 30%. think of how much, and I'm just I'm Keeg Lee, but think about Open Door. Think about OfferPad. Uh, all those guys are doing the same thing. They're doing the same thing. Oh, really? Doing the same thing. I'm just. I'm I didn't just know. The, I didn't know Open Door did that. The whole Open Door is Silicon Valley wholesaling. Yeah, that's what it is. Are they good at it? Not not as good as I am. Yeah, because they're trying to do all algorithms. Well, and algorithms. They buy, they buy and flip them from the sky, and and they also take titles, so they take unnecessary risk. Uh huh. I don't have to take risk. Uh huh. I don't take title to a lot of houses. Uh huh. That's what it is. Meaning, meaning you don't take title. Meaning, meaning I don't have to close on them. Yeah. If so, the deal's so, bad. So, so, so contract the deal yeah. with me. I got a house. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the 350. Let's say we're at 350 and yeah. it hits your mark. The, the, the next guy's going to be able to sell for 500. You're going to do what kind of agreement with me? Well, let's just say now I'm under contract, so I control yeah, it. Yeah, but what's the contract look like? Hey, Grant, uh, I'm going to give you what, it would what's be our an, agreement? An assignment. I would assign my rights. I no, would no, assign no, my I'm contract. I'm the seller of the house. Oh, it's just a regular standard purchase contract. A, re, a real so estate agent. When do I get my money, man? At closing. When's closing? Usually anywhere between two weeks to thirty days. You're going to close one. in thirty days, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to give my I'm going to give my three fifty, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then any, could anything happen? Like, well, during my inspection period, I'm going to look at the foundation. The I'm foundation's look, bad. You well, know that. Yeah. But, well, then it's not going to be a sixty percent. Maybe it's a fifty percent, right? So I, I'm going to ask him questions before I put the house under contract. Okay. What, tell me about the house. What do you? Man, you, what, know, you know what's going on? You're the, house. the professional, man. Well, they'll my tell toilets me. My toilets leak. Okay, good. I got, I got, I got bed bugs. Yeah. I got termites. Yeah, I'm a hoarder. Uh, 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 my fucking roof needs to be fixed. Yeah. I got plumbing issues. I got, I got poop in the tub. I, I got poop in the tub. Yeah, I got then a it's hoarder. Not gonna be I got a, 60, a hoarder in there. It's not going to be a 60 percent offer. It'll probably be a 50 percent offer. What does that mean? A 50 uh, 50 percent of ARV, right? So if I, uh, if well, I got I'm a 500 house, I'm the seller. You're not talking to me about ARV. No, I'm so not. You, I'm going to say, listen, just in, do in the your deal Just do the deal with me. So Grant, and the condition you said my house is worth 350. Well, and the is condition your house is worth right now. Yeah. With what you just told me, you got yeah. poop in your tub. Your yeah. roof is bad. That's right. Everything's leaking. That's right. You haven't done a thing in the house. I can't give you more than two fifty for the house. Okay, good. Let's do the two fifty. Okay, great. When do I get my money? Uh, when do you need it? I need it tomorrow. Well, I I need a couple of weeks at least. Why? You got to get the money there. Oh, uh, you don't work. have the money. No, there. I've always got the money, but smart people just don't sit with powder money in the bank. We got to do things. Uh huh. That's how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna get my money in two weeks. Is there any reason I won't get my 250 in two weeks? If we're gonna do a sight unseen, non-refundable deposit, yeah, we're gonna do no inspection period, and I'm at 250. I'll close that. Yes. Yeah, and I'll guarantee that sale. Yeah. Okay, so let's say under the 350 example, yeah. let's say you then don't have all need, these other I, problems. Might, if if they don't disclose a lot, you're to just me. Use, you're, are you using the due diligence to find a buyer? I use it to find a buyer and also just to do due diligence for myself. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm but, gonna close it. Yeah, but I mean, let's just just be real with me. No, I do Are both. Are you using the due diligence no, there, to find a buyer? You can. You I, listen. I'm going to exercise all exit strategies in the time. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to look at yeah. it as a fix and flip. The beautiful thing about wholesale is the perfect Trojan horse. Uh huh. Because I can look you at the deal. You still need to check title. I got to check title. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. And I've yeah. also got to look at. Maybe it's a great deal for me. I flip yeah. houses. I also flip houses. You did it. You saw me do it. I do it yeah, on television. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I'm looking for good deals. Yeah. But the beautiful thing yeah. about wholesale is that I get to cherry pick the best ones. Yeah. That's it. I like it. And the ones that I don't take. You ever feel like you're robbing people? No, because I'm not not taking anybody's equity. I'm taking a portion of that person's potential. Uh Uh-huh. That's it. That guy knows he's giving me a piece of his potential. Yeah, and if he wanted to fix the roof and the bathtubs and the termites, he would have done it. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. Look, okay, most of the time. You can't make it sound this good without telling me what's the downside. I mean, uh, ice cream has a downside, right? So, Look, so what's the downside of this deal? The downside is a seller could get more money. They no, could, no, the downside could, for you is, is, is the arbitrary. The it, downside is, for me is that I'm, I'm giving away opportunities all the time. Okay. And if I, if I, if you kept, if I it kept on, if I kept all the deals grand, I wholesaled, but what's I would the be downside? Not, not, I understand. And taxes. Huh? And my taxes are the downside. The well, way I did, the way I make money. It's earned it's income. Earned it's income. nasty. It's nasty. Okay. Because he pays probably 50% of his earned income. Not capital it's, gains. It's a, it's a lot. So, so, oh God. What did you pay in taxes last year? Do you know? 1.4 million, personally. I got a $254,000 refund. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> this is <a> new. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. So. But what's the downside other than the taxes? Okay, yeah. what's another downside? Somebody's going to be interested in doing a franchise with you. Sure. What 
They got to make a lot of phone calls. That's the downside. Well, let's just talk about make the some nasty, bro. Let's, gonna gonna, make some let's get, handle the nasty shit. They're gonna make some phone calls. They're gonna. They're gonna. They got to make a lot of phone calls. They're gonna make a lot okay? of phone calls. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to talk to people. Yep. At least a broker. Yep. Okay. You're gonna. They're gonna talk to buyers. You, we get. We give them. We listen. We give them lists of buyers. Uh huh. We give them all the systems we use. Because here's the thing. When I first started as a wholesaler, it was all just in here. Yeah. It was all just my hustle. Yeah. My operators yeah. came yeah. in and took my hustle and systemized it. Uh-huh. Right? Turned it into an actual process. Right, That's right. the process that we franchise. Right. Right? So they get that. Yeah. They get our whole system. So they figure mm-hmm. out, okay, who, these are the people I got to talk to. But these they are... don't get your determination. They don't get your, your persistence. They no, don't... but they're not going to they pick st- up they the gotta phone. They got to develop They're that. not going to pick up the phone and say, I'm interested in the franchise if they're noodles. A noodle? You know what a noodle is. No, I don't know what a noodle is. You know is. exactly what a noodle is. A noodle's is, limp. He doesn't do it. He doesn't want to do the work. A oh, noodle yeah. goes to oh, yeah. his job every day. Oh, yeah, I know a lot of noodles. Dude. You know you know noodles. See, I, I a noodle didn't. doesn't call me and say, I want a franchise. That guy doesn't do that. Yeah. He That guy doesn't bet on himself, Grant. He mm-hmm. never would. But the person who does bet on himself, he's What not, do we call people that are not noodles? They stand up. They show uh-huh. up. That's it. Enriched. They play. Enriched. They like, play. They look. They're Mahatma, not. Mahatma they're not going to. They're not going to give up on themselves. They're not <laughs> yeah. going to give up on themselves. And yeah. that person may fail once or twice in life. They may fail. Do they five need good credit? Do these people need good no. credit? No. Why would they need credit? They're not. I'm not. They typically aren't going to buy money? the house. Do they need yes, money? Yes, they're going to need money. If they're going to close, they listen. Either they're going to buy a house. If they're going to commit to a house, you're going to buy that house. Uh-huh. You're going to make a commitment on a house. You're going to buy that house. So this is a no money down strategy. It could be. Wholesale yeah. could be, yeah. right? Okay, let's shift. Do you mind if yeah, you shift? Not at all. Um, do you look at the rest of the housing market and the economists and economy and, and do you yeah, deal with attention. what's going on I right now? I pay now attention. I pay with attention. With the Fed and... Yeah, of course. Because it, yeah. it affects you. Look, when the Fed first did what they did, they switched gears, right? Yeah, do you like the Fed? You think he's doing a great no. job? No. Fuck no. Sorry, uh, I don't mean is, to cuss. But is he no. a noodle? Is he a noodle? He, well, a, a version of one. Yeah. A rigatoni, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I fucking hate that guy, dude. <laughs> you know? This is not a good noodle, you no, know? He is an extension of Fauci. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. we went from Fauci to Powell. Now, Fauci sounds like a type of noodle. 100, Fauci right? noodle. Right? And playing, doing, doing the doodle on my health care. <laughs> I mean, now what they lot. did was they, took, they went from COVID yeah. invisible, yep. COVID, yep. to inflation invisible. Right. Uh, from a vaccine to interest rate hikes. Right. And from hey, the mask works, doesn't work. <coughs> no, I got interest rates listen, work. No, they listen, don't work. And 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 I got COVID four times. Yeah, I got COVID four Did times. Did you get the vaccine? I had to get my. I had to travel to see my kid. She lives in Canada. Uh-huh. I had to get the vaccine. You didn't have to. I I, I wouldn't have been able to see her if I didn't. Mm-hmm. I had to. Yeah, I got it. I didn't grow another yeah. dick. <laughs> That'd be a noodle. I don't think that's one of the side effects, though. I don't know. It might By have the been. way, that would be one of the positive side effects, okay? <laughs> but the second dick ends up with a bunch of blood, <laughs> blood clots. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I think we keep that. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so back to, um, yeah, dude, the economy. Like, yeah. like, like how yeah, I, has I, I, I the attention. negative impact? Yeah. I, I don't attention. want to hear everything rosy. Listen, listen. This is, this is, you're, you're not, all rosy. It's not, it's you're not you're rosy. like this Canadians, dude. You oh. guys are positive even when because I'm, you're being Because I'm still ripped. making money. Look, look, here's I the deal, right? I, I, I agree. Grant, you, you can't get into your jet. You can't have that gorgeous wife of yours and those incredible kids of yours. Yeah. You can't have that life and wake up pissed off. You can't. And no matter what the government's doing to you. I don't know. You, sometimes I do. <laughs> but no matter what the government's doing, no yeah, matter what's yeah, happening, yeah. You, you can't because you understand that you control what's going on in your life and what's yeah, going on in your day. Yeah, yeah, but I don't agree with that, dude. I, I don't like I don't like a lot of the stuff's going on right now. Okay. I don't like You don't have to you don't have to like it uh-huh. for for it to unfa you can't be you can't let yourself get phased. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna mope around and I'm not gonna mope around and start Messing yeah, around how I, I earn okay, money I because it, I'm mad it. at okay, the you're government. You're positive about it all. La, I gotta la, 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 be. La, ba, 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 ba. I okay, gotta be. You're not be. a noodle, okay? <laughs> but, 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 dude, let's just talk about the real, the real, yeah. like, how is it negatively impacting? Uh, here's here's, here's yeah. what I think, okay? I think that the average Joe is going to become a less than average Joe. I think that uh-huh. the, a person right now who's trading their time for money. If, if they don't change. If they don't do something. Right. If they don't do something to fix how they earn, how they, how they live. Right. You walk into a job every day. You spend eight hours a day 
and you hate your job, uh-huh. okay? There's, but you're you making enough, just enough money to pay the mortgage, just enough, or pay rent, or and that gets you know, old after a while. Food, dude. It, brother, I don't it care what your you. paycheck is. It will suck your soul. I know guys that make eighty grand a month. I was I, look. Yeah. I was talking to very high level executives yesterday uh-huh. who were at the book tour, saying, "I hate my life." Yeah, exactly. And they're making a bunch they're of. They're making golden handcuffs. Yeah, yeah. Golden handcuffs. Yeah. Like these people have zero motivation to leave financially. They're yeah. they are not living in survival. Yeah, yeah. They're not living in survival. Yeah. Right? They have be, options. Be, uh-huh. Right? They they they've got enough money in the bank, the 401ks, IRAs, yeah. NRAs. But, but, but they, they don't have the action, it. they don't have the action. It's mundane. Well, they have it's, they've got a burning some a lot of these people have a burning something in their heart. They uh-huh. say they're not they don't go to bed at night and say, "Ah, oh, I did a good job today for my boss." Feel real good about it. Nobody yeah. Yeah. nobody does that. Yeah. Nobody does I that. I think some of these are bosses that feel like that too, dude. Well, then they're in the wrong profession. Or, if you're, if you're, or, if you're, or maybe they just reach the end of the road. They're like, okay, yeah. I want a new game. I want some cool. action. I mean, you start talking about making, if you're going to make, what do you make on average home? If you do average, 60 deals, on average, 20 grand? 15,000. 15? Yeah, 15,000. I mean, that's 750,000 bucks a month. Shit, that, that kind of money's interesting. It's good. It's interesting. You know? Wholesaling is interesting. I remember when I used to make that a month. Cute. <laughs> But what happened for me was what, and this is what I'm talking about, the mundane, yeah. right? Yeah. You, you, you do whatever it is, three yeah. grand a month, six grand a month, 75,000 a month, 700 yeah. grand a month. If you keep doing that over and over and over again, sooner yeah. or later it's going to become- Seven million. No, it's like, okay, all right. Well, for me it will It becomes a little mundane, It does, right? and that, here's the thing. Here's what I'm not doing And anymore. then you get a taste of this other possibility, yeah. right? The other possibility like, for me is, like I said- What if I, I could do that in a day? I, well, I was reading your book, uh-huh. right? How do you take a hustle- and 10 exit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How do you do that? Yeah. How do you do that? You got to you got to look at a different target. Yeah. You got to yeah. look at a different exit, right? Yeah. Here's one thing that I realize, yeah. I can build a business and if I can franchise that, yeah. license it and create royalty income, yeah. I can now franchise and sell got, it. How many franchises can you sell? I, I'm over 100 right now. Wow, dude, that's awesome. I'm going to get to 600. Uh-huh. I'm going to get to 600. We should try to help you with that. Let's do it. You know? I'm gonna get to 600. My system is yeah. Now, what are the fa- franchise? Fantastic. What are the franchise uh, concerns? What are the concerns? Yeah, yeah. I in, know in, franchise in, laws sometimes yeah, can be a little. The franchise concern. Well, you know, for me in sales, right? Uh-huh. You 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 just don't. You can never make promises. People oh, okay. got to come in and do their work, right? Yeah. That's it. You need some money. Yeah, but there's I have work but I have involved. A, there's, you know, I've got an FDD. FDD what spells is FDD? it out. That's the disclosure document. FDD stands for what? A federal disclosure document. Okay. Financial disclosure document. Okay. It's everything. Huh? It's all my shit. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. my pants. It's just the size of everything. Right, Look, right. You know, check it all out. Right. Look at my underwear. Look at, yeah. you know, yeah. it's audited financials every single year. You wear underwear? No. Okay. But yeah. I have some in my drawers. Right. <laughs> I don't put them on. So, so okay, that's cool, man. So, the so you've done a hundred franchises over in the U.S. or outside in the U.S. Uh huh. Yeah. And in the, in that franchise, what do they get? A lot of systems, brother. Okay. A lot the of systems, systems, leads, leads. Lists. Oh, you get leads. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Leads, phone lists. calls, and probably scripts, and we're, and scripts contracts, all all contracts, the education. We we actually let them come in. Yeah, you we support train their them. Teams. You support, support them every them. month. They come into they your come place. They come into our place. They Dude, spend awesome. two three What's weeks that with cost? us. For what, a franchise? Yeah. hundred grand. You want to talk about that here? You want to talk about what it costs? It's $100,000 for a franchise. Yeah. Uh-huh. What if I can't afford the hundred? We can do some financing if you qualify. Yeah. Yeah. But everybody qualifies. No. No? No. No, I, again, I, I- You don't do, want- you I don't, want, No, I want, I want somebody it, it, who's- So if I don't have any money, I don't have any credit, I haven't paid anybody No, then yet. you're not, then you're not at the franchise level You're not level ready right yet. Now. You're not ready yet. Yeah, this needs I'll to be- I'll coach you. Uh-huh. I, I do coaching, I do coaching. Right. I have, I have you, a lot of people, I, over 4,000 of those people that, right. that wouldn't have qualified for financing for a franchise. Right. But they're like, Jamil, how do I do the hustles? Teach yeah, me yeah. the hustle. Yeah, teach the hustle. Yeah. Right? And I'll teach you the hustle. How do you teach that? I do, I do coaching calls with them. Do we want to do something together, man. Have you talked to Jared? I talk to Jared all the time. We send memes I know, together. But it, we send memes. You know, funny I pictures. Meme. I can't fucking spend a meme, bro. <laughs> memes are for noodles. Uh, you should calling Jared a noodle as your right Fuck hand. Yeah. If y'all are sending memes back and forth, you should see you're our, either you fucking see noodle or you're interested in the doodle. Oh, uh, shit. Well, well I, maybe that, maybe fucking, you know what it is. Maybe that's you, how you, he's courting me with memes. Yeah, you, you be, he might be making some trans move on you here in a second. Like, 
Like, I don't what even understand happening? that. I didn't know he uh, would. Jared, know. Jared, bro. If I didn't know y'all were doing man. doodle noodles, I wouldn't even have done this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He was just in my office a few minutes ago. I got to go wash my hands now. So, um, yeah, but we should talk about, dude, how I can, how I could. I mean, I'm in front of a lot of people that are interested in real estate. Yeah. And I, and I trade a lot of real estate. Yeah. And we should talk about, like, I need to bring you into one of our, our events. How big are your events? We've done 2,500 people. Yeah. 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 So we, we, we should look at, you know. Yeah. I've been on your stage before. You just didn't know it. Yeah. What, what stage was that? 10X, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, he's getting confident. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bro. But yeah. I, I, you know, I was on. Listen, you want to know something about yeah. a, my, what Pace and I, we wanted to be on the 10X stage. Uh-huh. So you want to know what we did? Well, we, I, mean, I remember you on there. I yeah. mean, I remember I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm glad yeah. you did. Yeah. But we wanted, so the year... Two years prior, because COVID happened, right? Yeah. We were like, listen, we can't walk through a door we've never, we can't, we can't be on a stage if we haven't felt the energy and been a part of that, yeah, that yeah, life, yeah, right? Yeah, so we bought yeah. tickets. Yeah. Good tickets. Yeah. How good are tickets? The $2,500 ticket. $2,500? Yeah. You know, the good ticket. The, it's a so, so, so good ticket, right? Yeah. We yeah, bought so, that so ticket. ticket. The so, so good yeah, ticket. Yeah, in the back. We're not the back back, huh? but we got the, the pretty good <laughs> ticket, right? Yeah. yeah and okay. we sat in that room. Yeah. And we felt it. Yeah. We said, this is a rock star real estate Dude, event. Like, crazy, this is, right? This is not like... Oh, no. You were at the real estate event. You weren't at the 10X Growth Conference. We were you weren't at the Mandalay Bay. Oh, okay. You were at the big the event. big event. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got it. And, and it's legit. Yeah. Like, it, that, that is a rock star... Now, what were star. you guys saying while you were in the room? This is incredible. Yeah. How do we do that? How do we get on that stage? Right? Yeah. What do we got to do? Yeah. And we got there. Yeah. What'd you do when you were on the stage? We riled up your crowd, bro. We wrecked it for Pete. Oh, we got it, riled got it, up your got crowd. Got it, got it was just because they were because because we said we told the story. Okay, look, I want to know from you guys if if we put together a, a program for our 10x community for you guys that are watching me, incorporated. I think you would like to do this: the wholesale piece. You know it with the long term hold, because at some point you guys are going to have to start owning something. I, I do. It, 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 you graduate. Listen, here's the other yeah. piece, right? How much real estate you own? I own quite a bit. I own a, I own quite a, a bit is not a number. Uh, Ten houses, outright in cash though. I'm okay. not like you. I'm not. Oh listen, I got God, kicked in God. the balls in no way. Oh, bro. I love my income. Oh, I love bro. it. I love it. I got How a beautiful house. I'm 44. Bro, got a beautiful you, house on the beach in Marina You're a noodle, Ray. dude. You're a noodle. I'm not a noodle. You're I'm a fucking a, noodle, dude. <laughs> he's calling me a noodle. He says, "Come into I, my program." I'm, yeah. No, I am. I'm just saying. <laughs> but but you you got we got to stiffen it up, bro. Like you got to go to the next level now. So I'm gonna boil myself. No, you got to go to the next level. How I does think, the noodle get I believe, I believe in the next 18 months. Okay? I, here's how I feel about leverage. Well, the, the noodle gets the noodle, hard. The, the, noodle, noodle, gets, okay. the noodle gets hard. The noodle... By gro- boiling itself. No, no, no. Because it, it's going to have to unboil. It's going to have to leave what it has. Oh. And move some of that money into another space. I see. Like, like you know... Y- you, you, you want to, we're, we're getting ready to go. I believe we're okay. getting ready to go into the greatest housing cycle, real estate opportunity of, of my entire life. I don't describe, I thought it was going to be here. That. I thought it was going to be here last and, quarter. And in your world, especially in your it's world. It's going to be massive it's gonna be in my massive. world, dude. It's going to be bigger in, in, in the apartment space than Big it is time. in single family. I mean, if you, for, for, for a guy like you, right? No, for a guy like you. Quit talking about me because I want to get you a thousand units. I'm there. Paying you 200 bucks a month. I'm there. Every month. I'm there forever. Listen, plus I'm, the I, franchise with, with the plus with the amount of money know. that I paid in taxes. Yeah, right. Well, you wouldn't pay any taxes. I, I wouldn't be anymore. paying taxes, right? No. But you got a refund. I got a two hundred fifty-four thousand dollars refund. Jesus, on a little more money than you made. Good job. So the net, the 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 the, the adjustable was probably twenty-six, and I still got a refund. Wow. So. I mean, yeah, it's pay, a, Pace, pay, Pace also th- gets refunds because he uh-huh. buys a lot of creative deals and you know, he likes to collect leverage, right? Different, different yeah. strategies. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, for me, there's a, there's a piece of it because I'm, because I am cash money now. Yeah, right? I mean, my I want to get you is, that jet money. Though, my, though. my money, I have jet money. I just don't buy a jet. No, you ain't got jet money yet. I mean, I, you know, I've Noodle. talked to some, not Noodle your down. kind of jet, Noodle not your down. kind of jet. Noodle down, man. You're not your kind of jet, a regular jet. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, not a GC jet, okay. but a regular jet. Okay. You know the kind of jet. No, but you're doing great, bro. You're doing great. And I'm just glad I brought you here for the audience to hear, you guys, this guy's- Well, I'm accessible. Here's the thing, yeah, right? Yeah, There are going to be people that, that, that see you, right? Yeah. They're going to say, look, that's a- Oh, you, I'm, you're, accessible. You're, I'm accessible. You're accessible. Yeah. You're accessible. I'm just not a noodle. <laughs> 
No, you're, you're, you're still a noodle. I am a noodle. You're Bro, still you, a noodle. You compare me to Carl Icahn, uh, Ken Griffin, you know, Jeff, Elon. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, so you're, or Blackstone or right. Blackrock. I'm yeah. not even a noodle. I'm a grain of rice. Yeah. This yeah. should be left in the bag. Yeah, everybody not there's, turned there's, into the boiling there's water levels everywhere. and thrown there's in the level, trash there's, can. There's levels. Dude, everywhere. there's so many levels. Yeah, yeah. I am insignificant the, on planet the, Earth. The piece, the, the piece, thing that you and I do for people is yeah. help people. One hundred percent. In addition to making money, we're helping yeah. people. Of course. But you were going to say you're you're no, assess- accessible. I, I, the the thing is, is right. Somebody can do what I do if they decided to wake up tomorrow and say, "I'm going to leave this old person behind." Yeah. I'm going to make those two hundred calls. And that's what I'm saying to you. Right. They can do what I do. That's right. I, that's believe, I believe that. And yeah. that's what I'm saying to you. That, that I can leave my life behind. And you come could, in, you and, could, and, you, you, you're going to make the transition. At some okay. point, you're going to make yeah. the transition. Yeah. I can help you with this franchise thing. So if you guys are interested in doing something for the 10X community where we would join this long-term multifamily hold, okay, our office. I'm going to be looking at office and retail right now. Yeah. Well, cycle, you should be. You know? It's going to be blood in the water. It's going to be. It's going to be. Ugh. I, I, I can't sleep right now, dude. I'm so You're excited. You're waiting. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like a shark now. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I can't sleep because the sharks never sleep, right? Yeah. I just, so, but we would get you guys, have an entryway with you guys, with him and his franchise uh, to start looking at this flip because you can't be in every city. It's no, impossible. It's not. So you guys are in Kansas City, St. Louis, Indianapolis, um, Minneapolis, like, I mean, just go. I mean, how many goes, cities are in America? I mean, you know, there's Thousands, lots right? of markets. Yeah, yeah, lots of markets. Let's do it. Let's do some, let's do some. Let's, let's do something. Hey, but no noodles. Okay. No, no noodles. Okay. Post below if you'd be I, I, interested. I, I, uh, I, I think on that wall should be no noodles. Somewhere yep. on this wall, I'll add be it in no, there no noodles. Uh, well, 10X kind of says that anyway. <laughs> but but we, we should figure out how to do something. Yeah. And, and introduce it to this audience. Because I, I know some of them may know you, but but... I like this. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the fact is, is that anything, even candy, right? Somebody, somebody said, somebody was hustling candy one day, and they yeah. said, how do I turn this into a business I can sell? Yeah. And I, I did the same thing. You know, I'm, I was hustling houses, and I said, how do I turn this into a business I can sell? How do so, I 10X this? So is that what you're trying to do with the franchise? 100%. Are yeah, you going to sell it? Uh, one day. Yeah. I get the 600 franchises grant, yeah. and you know what home investors are sold that's for? That's why you're not listening yeah, that's why you're not listening to me on this multifamily. Your play I is play, to sell my, the franchise. Bravo, bravo. I got it. Think about it, right? Yeah. Do you know what home investors just sold for? No, how In much? the B's. Yeah, four? A little less. Okay. Yeah. That's a franchise? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. So that's my play, I'll right? help you get there faster, man. I should be sitting on the board. Well, 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 you know. I should be sitting on the board. Let's 10 x this thing quicker. Come on, boil yourself and join the pasta party. Okay, let's go. All right, All right. Ah! okay. Hope you enjoyed the show. Post <laughs> below if you like this. Let us know. You know, your involvement helps the algorithms on the show. Hit it, like it, subscribe it. If you don't like it, look, just don't like me. You got to like this guy. He's an awesome dude. I'm the agitator. I'm the aggressor. Don't no, like great. me. Put your negative <laughs> comments about me. Love on this dude. And, and if you're interested in a franchise, post below and we'll get you some more information. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.